Hey there YouTube, I'm going to make a, uh, another knife review. Um, of course it's about a knife that has a million other reviews, but I haven't seen any recently. Maybe because people just think there's too many of them out there, which would probably uh, you know make sense, but knife reviews are fun, so I'm going to bring out my knife that I'm going to review today. And I'm going to tell you about it because this is probably the best knife I have. And I'm going to show you a bunch of other knives to compare this to. So this is the Sheep's Foot. I think it's the 3.5. I don't know the model number. I think it's the 550. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it's, you know, the Mel Perdue 154 CM. It was about 100 bucks Amazon, I think. Um, but what a great knife. Um, I've had to compare... I purchased the uh, the higher end Benchmade uh, Griptilian, the one with the the gray G10 scales. It was the smaller version. I think this is the 3.5 inch blade, so maybe it was the 2.990 inch blade. And uh, I don't have big hands. I don't know what to compare these two. Uh, you know, I guess to this knife, you know, which is not terribly large, but it's not small. So that other knife. Um, I loved, I loved it. It was neat, but it was just way too small. And I, I don't have big hands. I have small hands compared to probably the uh, uh, average male, probably a little smaller. So this just fit me perfectly. I had to return that other one. I, I think it was um, $150. This one was $100. Um, and again, this is just uh, a really, really good knife. I do not mind the handles as people will always say when they review this knife that this just feels cheap and 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 not very nice well that is that's one of the main reasons i bought this knife was because it's in your pocket it's bouncing around with keys um, it can bounce out of your hand when you get out of the car or come out of your pocket and land on the concrete and i just didn't that g10 is i can i just think it's more fragile this one if it's in your pocket with uh, car keys um, then you know it's not going to scratch this stuff. I don't care if this gets damaged, but the thing is that it doesn't show abrasion and it doesn't show impacts. If it falls on the ground, it just kind of bounces, and you don't see any you know imperfection. I've had this about eight months, and it's been in my pocket, and um, and I it just is it's really nice. I don't worry about it, and that's part of my problem is as I my more expensive knives or knives with G10 or carbon fiber I'm always scared to use them and transport them around and forget they're in my pocket with keys or nickies, nickels and pennies and quarters and they get they just get scratched up so this one um, I love this knife for this purpose um, and then here I've got the uh, I contacted Benchmade and got them to send me the uh, deep carry pocket clip which is, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, it took about four months for me to get it in the mail from when I called them or emailed them and asked them, you know. But yeah, I mean, I did get it free, so I didn't complain. But I pretty much in the end just rode off getting it. And one day, three or four months later, it showed up in the mail. So I put it on there. I am actually uh, a pretty big fan of the one that came on the knife. Uh, I went in on... YouTube and the paint on it gets removed very easily. Um, I even didn't get to that point, but I like since it matches the the blade. I wanted to go ahead and sand that off, so I was going to use paint stripper, you know, uh, anodizing remover. I didn't know what I was going to try, but I went on YouTube and uh, steel wool, you know, back and forth, 10, 20 minutes, and it came off. And it looks really, really nice. It's not polished. It kind of looks like a stone finish, kind of. And it leaves the black in there in, in the Benchmade so that you can see it. It stands out really, really well. I think I've even used it some more. Maybe use, remove some of that black. But I left it black on the other side because I don't really care. And it kind of left the black on the sides. It gives it kind of a cool three-dimensional look. Um, but I took this off to put this one on. And I actually like this one better. I like the the silver finish with the silver part of the part of the blade. So, but I put this one on. I'm gonna leave it on for a while and uh, continue to uh, use it. But probably put this one back on. 
The other part is that uh, when I ordered the other Benchmade, I had the regular blade on it, the spear-shaped blade, and, and I just, I didn't like it as much. It was too small for my hands, um, and this one just fits perfectly. I really liked the feel of that other knife, um, but then again, I mean, I was just, I was not happy with it, so I sent it back to Blade HQ or something. This one works really, really well. As you can see, I mean, it just drops. So, um, I really like this knife and I really like this blade shape because it'll, uh, it just cuts everything really, really good. Um, it just works really, really well. And if I have to, I can, I can get down on it and, uh, and use the, uh, you know, the big thick portion of this blade right here and it's jimped and I mean, it's just awesome. It opens amazingly with that, with that, that, um, you know, the hole in the blade, it flicks open, um, you can you can uh, drop it if if my table wasn't there um you know it's just a perfect knife um uh you know i just every day every time i pick up a knife I, this is the knife that i go and pick up um so again well done bench made that axis lock movement is just it beats everything um and i can compare it to spider co and some of the other brands so this is my uh my knife review of this knife um i just think it's one of the best like i said that's the one i grab every time i grab a knife and i go out you know if it's walking the dog at midnight and i think i might have to use my knife or i go ride my bike or you know in an area um you know that's just uh, not in my house so i don't consider it that as safe i take this with me you know if i had to use this and I had to had to get somebody with that. That blade is going to work uh, amazingly well. Um, something that I have to compare to is my Spyderco um, 30 SV. Um, I can't remember what's the name of this. Uh, um, can't remember the model number, but it's really really popular. Uh, really really popular knife. Um, this is more decorative to me. I leave this on my table and. Uh, and look at it and hold it and, and it's it's action is not nearly as good uh, a lot more force to pull this back and uh it, i mean it flips open let's see i mean you can flip it open that way but uh like I said, that in my pocket, I'm more scared of it getting damaged or dropping it on the ground. And if I did, I would be upset. So there's that knife. I will say I've, this is what I've got left in my collection. Here's a, my Kershaw. Um, which one is this one? This is the 3820. I really like this, this blade right here. But again, it doesn't flick open as well. Um, it's, it's sharp. Um, it, it feels really, really good. It's a little heavier. It feels like an amazing knife, but I don't carry that one as well. Uh, but I really, really like this one. It fits really good in the hand. Um, sorry, I don't, can't remember the name. Rexford Design. Um, I got this at Walmart for like $22. It was on closeout. It's an amazing knife for that value. I jumped on it. Um, then I've got uh, my old knife that I kept, my zing from kershaw this is a pretty cool knife with that uh, laser etched blade um, i bought this from a guy on uh, craigslist um, so really really cool knife um, i'll always keep this one because it's a neat little knife as you can see it has no wear never been sharpened and i got a little nice uh, little cheapy on uh, blade hq this little Vulcan knife, it's really small. It's probably, you know, two inches, uh, but really, really cool design. It's Aus 8 metal. Um, it was neat, real small. This little knife had it in my pocket um, and went and shopping and had it in my pocket with the deep, clear, uh, the deep carry on this side right here. And it was in my pocket and somehow I stuck my hand into my pants, my thumb, and that and I dug that in there and it sliced open my thumb up all the way up my thumb under my under my fingernail so I don't really carry this one as much anymore but it's cool it's sharp a uh, neat little knife to uh, to have and then I've got my CRKT this is just knives that I can compare to this is a really really cool knife um, 
1995 I mean amazing knife sharp I don't know uh, you know the quality of the blades they don't list it anywhere but the M1610 S uh, KSF is a really really cool knife that's what started me out on on getting into these knives uh, all aluminum heavy duty really neat knife um, but uh, again and here's my best knife uh, that I have it's my uh, my Enzo Burke um, this knife by far, and it's the, the S30V, is uh, in the Scandi grind. This knife is so sharp. This is the sharpest knife I've ever held in my 46 years or 47 years. This blade is really, really wide, uh, but it's so sharp. I mean, that you don't even want to touch it and, and, and roll your finger down where some of those other knives you can actually do that. This, this blade, it, and this is carbon fiber um, scales. Uh, really 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 cool knife but again I don't want to carry this and get it dropped or lose it or get it stolen or or damage it so uh, I keep this around the house to cut things but this thing is so sharp that it, it'll slice hair like just pop it off um, it'll split a hair if you put a, a hair up into it and it'll cut a hair into two pieces so that's a really cool knife then I've got uh, I just was on a knife buying spree um, and I got this uh, boker on, you know, a little ball bearing uh, pivot. Um, it's the uh, VG10, and it was really, really cool. I like this knife, but again, if I drop this on the concrete or have it in my pocket, these uh, titanium scales are, uh, are, are going to get scratched up like nobody's business. So this is just a kind of sit on my desk and uh, look at and flick around every once in a while and play with and, you know, feel good knife. So um, that's uh, kind of why I don't carry that one. I've also had uh, the Camulus VG10 steel with a 3.5 inch Tanto blade. I don't have that anymore because I sold it. I've played, uh, I own the Kershaw Skyline that is so highly recommended. That knife just didn't do it for me. Um, so I got rid of that one. I had a Kershaw Oso oh Sweet and uh, I got rid of that one after owning it a little while and just kind of playing around with it. I just didn't like it that much. Um, you know, it was a neat knife for the value. Kershaw makes really good knives. Then I had the big brother to this knife, which is the M16 CRKT 13 SFG. So this is the the tin, and it was a lot bigger, and it had that lock on the back, so it wouldn't shut on itself. Um, I sold that too, just because, you know, it was a really neat knife. You know, if I guess if I was going to the Amazon, and that's all I could carry, um, it had the G10 scales. I mean, that might, and it had the Tanto point. Uh, so, you know, maybe that knife. But again. I just think this is this the coolest knife with its action and its weight and I guess the blade quality. I'm just, you know, and how it flips so easily and uh, the pocket clip and just overall design. This is probably, uh, again, my most favorite and most reached for, uh, reached for knife, um, you know, for just carrying, you know, cutting food when I'm traveling in hotels, um, cutting tags, cutting rope. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to pry anything with it, but, you know, anything that just needs cutting, um, you know, one time I, de you know, took the, the uh, my, cut my fruit. I didn't have any way to cut my apple or my pears, so I cut that. And then another time I had bought steak and I didn't have anything but plastic, a plastic knife and plastic fork. So, and it wasn't cutting very well, so I pulled that out. Um, works really, really well. So, um, still very, very sharp. Um, so, other than that. Another review of the Benchmade knife um, with a sheep's foot blade, you know, take it for, for what you will. Um, great, awesome knife. Like I said, I've owned, you know, 10, 15 other knives and this is the one that always goes with me. And for a hundred bucks, um, you know, a great, great value. So other than that, uh, I guess that's all I have to say. You know, it's just fun making knife videos and you know, if someone gets something beneficial out of this and saves them from buying that smaller, smaller Benchmade uh, Griptilian, you know, it, that was a really neat knife, but there was just no way I could hang on to it or hold on to it because it was just, it was so small and I don't have big hands. So for someone that has larger hands than me, 
I mean, that's just like a you know a little little puny knife to pull out and open uh, envelopes with, and you know keep on your desk as a as an envelope opener, or uh, you know I guess a woman in her purse. But uh, this is the perfect size. So other than that, um, peace out, and uh, thank you for watching.